let's just watch and see what happens. But if he can get bombed himself with a guy like Alex Stewart, let me tell you that. There he goes. And the first punch thrown by the Featherman, Jamie Howe. Alex Stewart has recorded nine first round KOs in his career. All of his wins were by KO. sequent trucks you know uh, in the heavyweight division i don't think i've anybody seen anybody take as much punishment as jamie howe took in the last fight except george chevallo without going getting knocked out I and mean, he has some chin and he's tough and george chevallo one of the fighters who trained here at Petrus over the years partisan crowd for stewart this is his home turf this is where he trains when he's out of the city Last win over Starvin Mark Young. Fifth round CPO, Atlantic City, May 25th. And Jamie Howe already has an, an angry welt under his left, under his left eye. How does not scare easily. Peculiar for heavyweight. All of his weight is in it from his hips down. He has tremendously strong legs. Body blow, good solid one landed by Jamie Howe. Meanwhile, Stewart is doing a job with that left hand. There's a straight right hand behind it. Right to the well underneath the left dive, Howe. Playing it a little cautious, which is okay. He's letting Howe uh, make a mistake and get off balance, then he's throwing the combinations. Stewart not hurt there, backed up a little bit, but not hurt at all. Nailed a couple of good body punches, though, Bruce. Final second to the first round. right hand right he over but this down. jamie how he takes a punch i was like nobody better george chavallo that's the only one i can think of he's been stopped only three times in his career all by cuts sunday on cbs with color commentator gil and tim ryan that's this sunday on cbs and we mustn't forget our there's a look at jamie featherman how 15 11 and 1. State Athletic Commission in effect tonight, scoring 10-point must system, three knockdown rule in effect, standing eight in, a cat, in, a, in effect as well. You know, if I was in Stewart's corner, I would tell him to work that jab overtime. Just keep working that jab overtime. Pick this guy apart. Don't get into punching exchanges. It's not necessary. Got too much at stake. He's got to snap that jab. Do it. Do it. Work it overtime. Do it all night. The other punches will take care of themselves. That's it. Just stay on the outside. Put your punches together. Move it. Stuart boxing this round a little more. 
Chris punches. Oh. So many things can happen when you get these punching exchanges and start the wrestling. And 90% of them are bad for Alex Stewart. That uppercut wasn't bad. It was pretty awesome. He got it in there twice. But in the meanwhile, Bruce, you know, remember what happened to Ronaldo Snipes? You start wrestling with a guy, these big guys, they can pull a muscle, or a tendon, all sorts of things can happen. He doesn't have to do that. He's a class above Jamie Howie. She just outbox him. They more to get into a nice barroom fight. He may after this one's over. <laughs> That's the kind of kid he is. Tough kid. I wouldn't want to fight him in the barroom, I'll tell you that. And Stewart has to snap that jab. He's pouring with the jab now. Cal <laughs> countered nicely there. his right hand to punch to the body. Leaves him wide open for a left hook. Luis Rivera did warn Stewart about that low block. Bruce, does Stewart look tired to you? He's starting to look tired. He walked around the ring, took a deep breath, and dropped both hands. Well, it's awfully early to get tired in a fight like well, this, which has 10 rounds written on it. Those are the indications. Completing the third round of the scheduled 10 round bout. Seconds. That's a long way to go in this round. And look at look at how still punching back. 
Still punching back. That's why the referee's having trouble stopping the fight. Give it to Jamie Featherman Howe. Okay, one more, one more, that's all we need. That nose is a bloody mess right now. Final second of the round, Howe is still throwing punches. He's still standing. And there is a lot of work to be done in that corner if he's going to continue. Here's a look at the knockdown. Bruce, I hope they stop the fight. I hope they stop the fight. Oh, we have... I don't know. The one that knocked him down wasn't the hardest punch he's thrown. It was just oh. an accumulation. Has he been hit with, with punches? Look at Stewart's eyes. Come on, concentrate. Where's Wenzo? Hands up. I'd have to say flex. This first minute is... Something as big has to happen in this first minute. No question about it. Heck of a job done by Tommy Gallagher in that corner between rounds to patch together that face of house. Well, let's see how long it stays in effect. Done a heck of a job stopping that nosebleed. But of course, you keep getting hit on the nose, it's going to open up again. Sixth round scheduled for 10. Alex Stewart and Jamie Howe. Stewart tuning up for Tyson. Well, here goes the nose. It's pouring blood again. Stewart have a, had a marvelous round of the fifth. And in, in, in Jamie Howe's corner, they're, talk, they're saying, go punches, Jamie. He's tired, too. But Stewart is just too sharp for him. And just too he's sharp. Over that corner too much. You get landed, you get nailed real quick. What Howe has to do now is get off first. He can't win. Well, we have all kinds of fans behind us. Some of them are yelling, stop the fight. Others are yelling, no mercy, Alex. So I don't know. I'd like to see a little mercy from the referee and stop this fight. goes outside a fighter's head, such as Stewart seeing, seeing what's in front of him. But well, what's happening now is Howe is just standing there waiting to be hit. Remember how aggressive he started in the first round? Now he's there waiting to be hit. All the fire is gone, except his courage is, is still there. Stewart to the body. You know, as long as the fight's on, if you're Stewart, you can't show mercy when you're into the ring with a heavyweight, right? Should get him out of this, what he should do. He's taking everything away from Howard now, except his heart. That's all he has left. Big body blow landed there by Howe. It was just an off punch, though, Bruce. It wasn't very effective. Final seconds of the sixth round, 40 some odd. I guess that's more than just a couple. You can see how just waiting, waiting to get hit, and he's getting hit. Stewart continues to hammer away. How still stands. Inside of 20 seconds, and again the face bloodies. thinking of us, except that Stewart might run out of gas. No other chance to win the fight. Sixth round drawing to a close. House still stands. We'll be back. Way to close. Very good. Come here. Come on, baby. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. Okay. Now listen. Listen up a little bit. Listen up a little bit. All right, relax. Calm down. Are you a beautiful coach, job? Beautiful. Now just do the same thing you're doing. Same thing you're doing. Get me the grease. Same thing you're doing this time, but throw some punches. We are headed to the seventh round. Somehow. 
Jamie Howe still on his feet. He's been nailed pretty good by Alex Stewart, who dropped him in the fifth. And you know, Stewart is very dangerous after he gets that minute rest. Then he comes out, he comes out really bombing, but after about a minute or so, he slows down a little bit. Can't blame him, he's expended an awful lot of energy. Again, Howe's corner done a nice job patching him up, but Stewart chops away with that short uppercut. Luis Rivera calls it off, that's it. It's over, he's seen enough. I have to applaud the referee with this one. What else did they want to do? A mixture of cheers and boos. But Stewart, the hometown favorite, Catskills have kind of adopted this young man. And after a slow start, he really came on, Gil. Yes, he sure did. But you know, he's gonna to have to break that habit of starting slowly, especially if he fights Mike Tyson. And now how playing for the crowd, asking for applause. It's amazing the energy he still has left. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. What a good Jim Finnell, Dave. Agreed, they've signed the contract, they mailed it back to Don King, now it's up to Tyson to put his John Hancock.